Now it's time to mess around with our Messer stalls. So this is what we got. We got our 17 piece set here. We got a bunch of uh, ingredients to play with. What the heck, let's just run with it. So you got your smaller, the shorter one, that's for more carving. You got your slightly longer utility knife, your paring knife. You have an onion. I always recommend that you do not take off too much of the root end, like I was explaining in a prior video, is you want to keep this root end intact. That's what holds all the parts together. So I just kind of slice sideways, pull it over, right? Now you've got, you've got your little edge that you can uh, grab onto and peel your, peel your onion, all right, nice and easy. Now, some people will cut the onion in half while it's still peeled, and it's easier to peel, and I agree. But I was, I was uh, trained to peel onions whole like this, so that's how I do it. So now you've got a beautiful whole onion. Your paring knife has done a fantastic job, put it off to the side. Now it's time to, let's say, let's slice this and we'll dice it. All right, favorite knife, where are you? Here we are. What is this one? This is the eight inch Santoku chef's knife, okay? Eight inch messer stall, okay? That's the one you want. This isn't, don't, don't freak out over this. This isn't like you're going golfing. If you don't get the right iron, you're gonna miss the shot. Most of these knives will do this but this is the ideal knife to do this. So flip it over so you're looking at the root end and you cut the entire globe in half by cutting through the root end. So there's your root end right there. It's holding all these other pieces together. If you cut that out, they're gonna start separating. They're gonna start doing their thing. They don't, you know, they like each other, but they've been together for a long time. They can't wait for distance. Hold them together for a little while longer so you can do what you want. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fine dice this white onion. Okay, so how do we do that? Again. Tip of the onion does, a uh, tip of the knife does not touch the cutting board purpose. So it doesn't cut through the root end. So as you're cutting down, so you'll notice I ride it down my knuckle like that. See, I got this hand that, that's like kind of crimped so that, the, so that the, the blade rides down. So it's really the tip of my index finger that's guiding the thickness. So here we go. So using the tip of the knife, I'm watching the tip of the knife as I'm going down. So now, look. I'm cutting right over the, uh, the root end, but it's not going through the root end. If you notice, the tip of the knife is sticking out the root end. The root end is still doing its job. It's because of the design. See? So you go down. All right, let's go one more in here. All right. So now we got all kinds of, but it's still held together. That's the beauty of it. Now you go sideways. This is the, this is the scariest. Ooh, super scary. What I do is I'll just kind of grab onto it, and I'll just work my way through, pull it out. All right? So now I'm still holding all the pieces together. All right, little bits might want to come off. Don't worry about it. So now it's about sliding, sliding your knife. Holding your knife with your thumb on one side and your knuckle on the other. Holding a knife like this doesn't give you any stability. You can't, no matter how, how hard you hold with these fingers, in any design knife, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be wavy. You want to hold it so now you don't have that waggle. So now with that and sliding the blade so that it cuts through, you just simply, easily, I'm almost having too much fun because it's so easy. All right, and then you get to the edge and you just kind of slice through it. So look at that. You got yourself a perfectly diced onion. All right, easy peasy squeezy as we say. Okay, now this one, we're gonna slice. Uh, let's see, how do I want to slice that? All right, perfect dice. All right, and you can make them bigger by making them further apart. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just about um, practice. Basically, is what it boils down to. So this, this now this onion here wants to be sliced. Mm, do I want to slice it with this one? Let's see. Let me get you something else. Uh, that's a long slicer. That's a serrated knife. You know. Oh, how about my shorter slicer? This looks like a pretty cool knife. Let me uh, throw a little edge down on there. Make sure it's true. And let's slice. All right. Slicing is just basically going. Now I'm controlling the thickness with my knuckle as I go through it. And you got perfect, beautiful slices. I mean, you can see through these. That's translucent. So there you got slicing and dicing of the onion. Okay, let's put that off to the side for now. And uh, let's see what else we can do with our 17-piece set. Because I am not just basic, I'm advanced.